We are in a position where, over the last decades, we have built the wrong things. We need a different kind of U.S. military and a different approach to military power. Anderl, I think, is a healthy revolution for the defense industry. Have you ever wondered what would happen if a boomerang and a boom were to ever merge? As funny as it may seem, that's the amazing concept behind the Roadrunner. A unique combination of an AI-powered drone, a boomerang, and a bomb designed by the defense tech firm Anduril Industries. In this video, we'll be diving right into everything you need to know about this remarkable UAV jet, including how it works, the brains behind it, and how it's been secretly developed for years. Spoiler alert, prepare to have your minds blown away. We just announced last night is an AI powered, jet powered drone interceptor that we've been building for the last two years to counter the types of drone threats that you're seeing. We've seen these threats get much more advanced over the last few years. The entire world of combat drones was at a standstill when Anduril revealed its game changing drone at its Costa Mesa headquarters to a scrum of journalists, showing videos of what the new tech can do. In one clip, the Roadrunner vertically took off from a rocky hillside, soaring to strike a Reaper style drone in midair. On impact, the Roadrunner was rightfully destroyed, but the fact that it successfully fulfilled its role as a guided missile was all that was needed to get everyone excited. But as nice as it sounds, that wasn't even the main talking point. In another clip, the Roadrunner took off, maneuvered in flight, and then returned to its takeoff position by itself, reminiscent of the reusable landing technique of SpaceX's rockets. With military-grade drones becoming more accessible to terrorist groups, Anduril will be hoping its technology becomes a pioneering innovative solution, marking a change to the status quo in the defense industry's strategy for countering the threat posed by enemy combat drones. So my last company was Oculus VR. I started it when I was 19 years old, living in a camper trailer. Something that not a lot of people know is that before starting Oculus, which everyone does know about, I actually worked in an Army Affiliate Research Center, the ICT Mixed Reality Lab at the University of Southern California. Do you remember the teenager who designed a set of virtual reality goggles and created the company Oculus VR, which Facebook bought for $2 billion back in 2014? That teenager was Palmer Lucky, and by a weird twist of fate, he's the hero of today's story. A bit over two years after joining the social media giant, Lucky faced criticism within the tech industry for donating $10,000 to an anti-Hillary Clinton political group in the final weeks of the 2016 presidential election. He was subsequently fired from Facebook a few months later and decided to start Anduril in 2017. Based in Southern California, Anduril is a defense technology and weapons manufacturer that sets itself apart from traditional defense contractors by securing funds from venture capitalists instead of relying solely on up front orders from the Department of Defense. In only six years, the firm has amassed an impressive track record, featuring products such as automated security towers and early counter-drone aircraft. And while it may be small compared to major contractors, Anduril has attracted significant attention and investment, including $2.3 billion in venture capital and a valuation close to $10 billion. Anduril's premier success in selling equipment and software to the U.S. government started in 2018 with the pilot program of its Sentry Tower surveillance system system connected to its Lattice AI software in collaboration with Customs and Border Patrol. Today, hundreds of sentry towers are deployed not just in the southern and northern U.S. borders, but also in various locations worldwide. Without this technology, no way we could have the situational awareness that we will with these towers in place. Plus, Anduril has also bagged mega contracts with the Australian Navy for submarine drones and the U.S. Special Operations Command for counter-drone defense systems. Developed covertly over the past two years, the Roadrunner is a miniature VTOL, autonomous air vehicle distinguished by its inclusion of a warhead. It's packed with twin turbojet engines and modular payload configurations that support a variety of missions. And the fact that it can be reused if it isn't destroyed not only distinguishes it from its counterparts in defense technology, but also could potentially reduce the development costs. Inspired by the Looney Tunes character, Roadrunner embodies Anduril's dedication to offering a lower-cost, agile solution for countering drone swarms. The manufacturer is also planning for a scenario where a single operator, aided by Lattice software, can effectively manage multiple Roadrunners. This approach offers a comprehensive view of the surroundings and streamlines quick responses to drone threats. With a carbon fiber body and advanced onboard electronics for tracking and maneuvers, high subsonic speeds, exceptional maneuverability, modular payloads, and the capability for continuous software upgrades, Roadrunner holds significant promise, and we can't wait to see what the future holds for it.
Alongside the Roadrunner, the California-based firm also introduced the Roadrunner M, a high-explosive variant of the autonomous jet. This variant aims to enhance ground-based air defense by swiftly identifying, intercepting, and destroying aerial threats, some of which could be up to 100 times more expensive. As explained by the manufacturer, the Black M variant will have faster launch and takeoff timing, a three-fold increase in warhead payload capacity, a ten-fold increase in one-way effective range, and be three times more maneuverable than the original. But wait, there's more. In an effort to bolster the mission success rate of both Roadrunner variants, Anduril developed an automated hangar called the Nest, which serves as a storage container and launch pad to facilitate easy transport, maintenance, and launch of the autonomous jets. It even comes with integrated environmental stability systems and health monitoring capabilities to guarantee that the Roadrunner is always prepared to take off within seconds, ensuring operational readiness. So far, Anduril has been pretty tight-lipped over the exact price tags, but there's growing speculation that the tag will be around the low six figures, marking a stark contrast from the expensive costs associated with deploying sophisticated counter systems against drones, such as the Patriot missile, which can fetch four times the supposed cost of Roadrunner. Bear in mind that the firm is anticipating a cost drop as production scales up and its technology matures. Innovative counter solutions to the growing threat of attack drones have been one of the most sought after technologies in recent times, for a lot of reasons. They're now significantly cheaper, reliable, and inconspicuous. They leverage artificial intelligence software to precisely coordinate swarm attacks, and the recent unrest in Iraq and Syria involving the deployment of sophisticated fixed-wing drones is a screaming alarm that the enemies have shifted tactics. As a matter of fact, Dr. Neil Thurgood, the senior vice president at Anduril overseeing the Air and Ground Deterrence Division, which includes rocket motor, counter-intrusion, and air defense systems, emphasized that U.S. troops alone have been attacked 73 times just recently, thanks to a surge in low-cost, mass-produced drones that have made their way into the hands of enemies. Traditionally, countering drone threats involves either disrupting communication and navigation systems or utilizing specialized weapons like the Coyote and Patriot missiles. But alas, the cost equation poses a significant challenge, as Patriot missiles are priced at $4 million per shot compared to the relatively inexpensive drones they target. As a result, air defenders have been placed between the devil and the deep blue sea in a dilemma. Either use multi-million dollar, limited missiles against the cheap drones that the adversaries can afford to lose without any problem or face the consequences of not defending themselves. With the latter not even close to being acceptable, and the former being too expensive to maintain, the entire joint force has been compelled to look into innovative solutions that are both effective and affordable alternatives. It can take off and land vertically on its uh, two thrust vector turbojet engines engines, fly at very high speeds, maneuver very aggressively, and go after targets that never would have really been possible for our previous uh, drone interceptor. However, that's where Anduril's Roadrunner shines the most. It's a potential game changer that presents a reusable, operator-supervised autonomous air vehicle, AAV, that could destroy the cheap combat drones of adversaries and return to base if otherwise. Plus, the Roadrunner M variant, designed for ground-based air defense, is a high-explosive interceptor capable of rapidly launching, identifying, intercepting, and destroying all kinds of aerial threats. While Anduril's recent dive into defensive technology is undoubtedly innovative and a cause for celebration, we all have to be patient, as the Roadrunner is a pioneer AAV in its class, and it'll be naive to imagine that its technology has not matured yet. While no official date has been given for its mainstream commencement, Critics are rightfully being vocal about the challenges related to manufacturing cutting-edge capabilities and effectively integrating them into military operations. One of them is Thomas Carrico, a senior at the Center for Strategic and International Studies, who advises against expecting a quick fix, especially given the complexities that come with implementing new technologies. In any case, the future looks good for Anduril. Beyond Roadrunner, Anduril is planning to extend its lineup with an awesome lineup that includes fighter planes, loitering weapons, and autonomous submarines. With $2.7 billion investment and a valuation close to $10 billion, the firm wants to use its position as leverage to effectively change security concerns by constructing new facilities and production lines. With everything that has been said and done, how optimistic are you about Roadrunner's chances to curb the growing threat of combat drones and the issue of missile cost-effectiveness? And speaking of the Roadrunner, what variant and its features caught your eye the most? As you keep the conversation going in the comments section below, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest content.